Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax on the channel, The Jaxter, and we are in the Dire Wolf Pack 1.18.20, the latest one. And uh, this is episode number eight. First of all, I have to say something to you guys. I apologize for that last episode. Those deaths in the nether was, well, part of them were, were definitely unnecessarily uh, unnecessary. Um, just uh, not a very good job on my part. So, anyway, <laughs> I will. <laughs> We want to go from there. So I think moving forward, we need uh, to come up with a mob farm on, in the overworld. Um, I want to get some eyes of Ender and stuff like that, and um, I'm just not having any success. I go out and chase them at nighttime, and uh, they basically despawn or or something like that. I haven't had any luck getting any Endermen, so I'm thinking a mob farm might be the best way to do that. And so let's look at... I haven't emptied my inventory out either uh, since the last time, but I think we want to look at, uh, what's it, Dark Utilities. It has vector plates and stuff. And so let's see what we need to have for them. Slime and some stone. I think that's fairly easy to do. I think we're, we're good with just those. I don't think we need uh, the gold ones, the faster ones. Um, and... Let's see. I don't know why this purple line's coming across here, but uh, kind of annoying. Let's see. Let's get our bed out. It is supposed to, it should be dark time pretty soon. I mean, to be completely honest, I haven't went out and chased a lot, but uh, the few that I have, uh, I haven't had any luck nothing dropping or or anything like that so let's leave put our some of our stuff over here that we got from the nether a metal elemental craft too might be interesting to look at it's a new mod that was added oh and i uh even since the last uh episode episode uh seven uh, i have been on the 1.4 update of 1.41 i believe I don't know if it shows on the pack which one. I mean, it does at the beginning of the game, I think. But uh, so I am on the latest update. They've done some bug fixes, added some stuff, uh, some new mods, uh, fixed some mods, and then they. Uh, I guess there was a duplication a, a couple updates back with copper. Kind of a useless update compared to you know all the copper that we have. Yeah, I've got 38 there and another 52 there and i think i still got a bunch out there in the chest so anyway so i think oh yeah i'm going to make another torch launcher get that done uh and then we should get into create that we can get a tree farm that ties into like i was talking about running out of uh uh wood charcoal for you know just build to use for filling our Britannia and uh, cooking stuff here. I probably could end up getting by with just the lava. And uh, so we need ender tanks. So let's see. I mean, I know it's going to take uh, some ender, ender pearls at least. And we don't want the vanilla one. We want the, what is this mod called? Ender chests. And so let's add that to our list. So I need to make a pouch. So blaze rods, so an ender pouch is one I am ender. I mean, that's not super hard, but we'll need two of those because one ender chest doesn't do any good. And then on ender tanks, it retextured those, it looks, looks good, I like it. Uh, so there's another ender pearl. We're gonna need more blaze rods. And I think whatever wool you put up here is the color to identify those, which is pretty cool. And some more obsidian. So we need, you know, price six. One, two. At least four. Let's say half a dozen ender pearls at least. I don't think we've gotten any. Uh, I know you do get the extra little pieces too when you get one usually if you get any drops you get that too let's see
Now I'm not seeing anything. I did get this organic compost. I need to let's see what we can use that for. Usually you do it like a U for use over. Um, rich soil. What is that used for? Uh, just okay. I thought maybe that you could grow food faster or something in it. Uh, so ender pearls. I don't know if there's any other way to get ender pearls. So this is what I was talking about the fragments. Uh, the gas tears, well, I mean, I had to go back into the nether to get that, so that's really not too helpful. Ethereum's the same way. And yeah, so I, I don't know how well even a mob farm will work with getting uh, ender pearls, but we can find out. I mean, I know if I had an automatic one, I know they have uh, like the cursed earth or something in in this pack too. Uh, let's see what that's called. If you guys let me know too down in the comments, if you rather have me have everything prepared, you know, be here and we just make stuff, or if you're good with kind of exploring some of the stuff along with me as I play the pack. Uh, I'm good either way. Uh, I like sharing stuff. I, I do tutorials on on Bedrock and Java on the on the vanilla versions. But let's see ground, the earth. But if you don't like it and you want to just be prepared and, and we just grind on uh, whatever we're building or doing, uh, let me know down in the comments. I I appreciate it, guys. Any kind of feedback like that. So let's call. It, see, is it called dirt? Maybe. Dreadful dirt. Yeah, there we go. Okay, mob grinding utilities, and they got delightful. I mean, might those both might be good. So let's add those both. Okay, so with those, uh, we can't. And see. How those are made. It's a five or five of delightful dirt. Is that what this is? Yeah. Okay, so we need these eggs. So let's mark those. And how do we get those? Rotten eggs. So it's going to do something with chickens. So let's see, chicken, okay. Single use for the chickens, feed the chicken, single use chicken crates. Okay, there's the golden egg creation. That's gonna be the cursed. All right, so what do we need for these? Looks pretty easy except for the experience. And that's the cursed one. Uh, the nutritious experience again. How much experience do we have? Only five. <laughs> That's from dying a whole time. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Let's. Now we need to look at uh, how we can experience, how we can save our experience or whatever. Greater experience gem. Experience gem. All right. Uh, see how do we how do we create those? Sideful crystal stores expand. That's what we need right there. Okay, except for the experience bottle, I think we have everything. Uh, encapsulator XP. Yeah. Bottles are easy enough to make. Oh, I didn't mean to. I meant to see what it takes to make this. Okay. Copper's fine. Machine frame, a glass, ten. Okay, I think we can do that. We'll have to have power, so that means we need a generator. Uh, so let's see what other ways we can do. 
experience. So this is what we need to get. Liquid experience. That's cyclic. Uh, I, I'm trying not to use anything in, in that except for the uh, torch launcher. Absolutely. Again, that's that way. We need power. Capsulator. I, yeah, I don't know how we get those. Um, pick up XP board as fast as possible. That looks interesting. Let's add it over here real quick. Concrete. Is this cyclic again? Uh, yeah, we okay. So we'll remove that. We won't be adding that. Uh, the solidification chamber. We won't be adding that either. Uh, I mean that is in a lot of packs. I'm surprised really it's not in this pack. Expert portable tanks. Floods. Okay, let's look at tanks. I know there should be a tank, because usually you have those for mob farms. Sky stone. Let's see. Flood. XP salt solidifier. and fluid XP in its tank. Got any utilities? So let's look at that. Okay, I think, yeah, singularity tank. That looks really easy to make. Okay, that looks a little more complicated. So let's put this on our list. And then we need, uh, since again, we're gonna have to have more eyes of enders. So we probably need, let's just say a full stack of eyes. There's our tap. At that, first we need this. That's cool, they got weather stuff in here. Jumbo tank, tinted glass. All right, so when we get to weather killing, then we got something set up for that. Uh, let's see. So we'll need to make this. If we want to get into that absorption hopper, what's in it? Again, another eye, so. Got mob fans. Not really a fan of those. That's why I think we'll we'll use the dark utility vector plates. That way you can really guide where you want it. Uh, okay. So I think I think that's what we'll do. We'll let's dig us a hole out in this. Okay, in this episode, let's get us a area set up for. Uh, and let's do a nine by nine, I think, area. And maybe the vector plates, we can just move them around there right now and we can manually kill the, the mobs. That might be the way to do that. Uh, so again, let's look at the, the vector plates, see what we need. Let's grab those real quick, what we need for that. I know we've kind of been everywhere, so I think it's just stone and sugar and slime. Stone sugar and slime, and it's six at a time. We need 80 corn. So, 12, 13. So, let's make about 14 cents. Let's see what we got here. Don't waste our stuff there. Okay, so we may need to cook up some cobble. 
and that's okay because we need it doesn't hurt to have that anyway and we'll go ahead and set another set down here Okay, uh, slime, pretty sure we got enough slime, if not I know where the islands are we can go grab some more so, oh yeah, let's see, what was the other item that we needed? Oh, sugar, okay. And this stuff on the snag grows back pretty fast, at least the second layer usually does. Like that. Okay, so we'll switch these all to sugar. And wouldn't hurt to have another round of them, probably. I mean, I got plenty over here, too. Okay, slime. I don't know if these are four slime. Yeah, they're only four. So. That probably is enough. So let's get started on those. Can you not use the stone? Okay. Smooth stone. Okay. Cobble deep slate. We see, we have quite a bit of that too. So I don't mind not using stone. There is other things we can use that for, so. Keeping those out. Let's see, six, 12, 18, 24, 30. You want 81. So we need four more. That give us a few extra. 84, okay. Cool. Um, let's look and get our flux bore out so we can do a little mining. Like I said, I didn't do anything with the scrab. I'll leave our other last waste on in there. We probably need to go looking for another one of those. Yeah, and I always have these I can use too. They're kind of like shulker boxes a little bit. Let's see. We'll keep the nether stuff over here. I build a door and then I don't even close it. That stuff in there too. Yeah, we might look at the traveler's armor because we need to get some better armor too. So we got our vector plates. Get that stuff back up. See the charcoal, I don't think we can't pick back up like that. Obituary. We 
get your true shot. Increase the accuracy, speed of arrows, allows them to appear. So that's that's a pretty nice um, enchant. So keep it. And let's see about getting that dug out real quick. Um, where do we want to do this? Needs to be a little bit away. Way. So let's go over here. But we don't need to be deep in the ground. That's the only other thing. So that's pretty nice having some lapis right here. Okay. So if we do a nine by nine, so we have three here. We want to go three over. Some torches up for start out with. Okay, so we're three deep. Two, three, and three. We're counting today. And I hate leaving any resources sitting there. I know you see some YouTubers, uh, they leave the resources there. But um, it seems crazy to me to do that myself. And I build a magnet and don't even use it half the time. And let's throw more torch in here. And let's place down our vector plates. Let's go ahead and charge our flux war. Okay, and these get placed, or you can place them any way you want. But the best way to place them, in my opinion, it, I mean, they get placed the way you're looking. So if you uh, shift and you place them, they don't move you. Otherwise, you get moved off of them. And we're just going to move them to a central location. Move the mobs anyway, that's what I meant. So, it could be a little bit tedious doing this, but it's all for a good cause, right? So they're moving them down here, and then it's going to move them here to the center. All right, then we get moved over to here, and then we'll move C. And we don't want that there. Obviously. So we'll move these here because we're going to move them to the center. Yep. Moves it here. So. I'll just move it so I can kill the mob right there. So no matter where I'm at, you gotta hold shift down while you're doing this. So if I mob spawns over here in a corner, gets moved here. Okay. And so for that, what we'll do is come down here. 
You might want a hopper right there, actually. And we can put a chest down here. So let's go make a hopper real quick. And this is like a vanilla vanilla ish type of mob farm. Let's see, so we need five iron and yeah. actually give me two more. Let's make a it's like I said you always need you always can use Jess. Show you kind of what I'm going to pl plan on doing here. We'll put a chest at the very bottom. And I didn't want that to happen. There we go. And then we put our hopper right there. So the mobs drops will fall into that. And we can test that real quick by just throwing a block there. You see it went right into it. And then we want to block this off. And then I'll need some slabs. Keep looking for the, the night time. And I'll show you why we need the slabs. So we can stand down here and we'll have the slab at this height. So we need to get in back in here, break the lights. And the same way you see how the items they drop to, they go to the center and they'll get sucked in by the hopper. All right, so it sends this over to here. Then we can block this off. We want um, that to be at that height so uh, baby zombies, skeletons, or whatever should not be able to get out. And we might want to put that there. Okay. So if they see us, creepers and everything, it should get moving and won't be able to see us. So I think, uh, well, guys, we're going to end the episode there with that. And when we get back, we'll test it out and see how it works. Okay, guys, hope you enjoy the episode. Again, leave some feedback. Let me what you, let me know what you guys want to see or are done on the mod pack. If you'd like to see a mod specifically uh, kind of tutorialized or whatever, let me know. Uh, some mods, it's been a little while since I played with, but uh, I'm enjoying them. There are some that I haven't even played with, like a Mel Elemental Craft. Never played with that one, so I don't know why my bed didn't pick up after I done that. But <laughs> anyway, you guys have a great video, a great day. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.